I'm up to a stop right there behind me. I'm not worried about spacing. I want you to be nice and tight. So if I'm cutting in my throat, I'm telling you to kill your engine. Uh, if you see me do that, you slap that little red button down in front of you, this thing will die. We'll all be nice and tight. We'll be able to hear what I'm talking about. Um, when I give you two thumbs up, we're ready to roll again. I want you to see thumbs up back. You got your gloves, goggles, you're all set. Give me thumbs up. When I see that, I'm assuming we're all ready to go. Um, so if you're still adjusting something, go ahead and get it all situated before uh, you give me those thumbs up. Uh, any questions about any of those hand signals so far? Cool. Some operations of this thing. Uh, you have this little red button. That's what I was telling you to slap down. On these two uh, Arctic cats, you're just going to be pushing that little red button forward. So it's killed right now. It's ready to roll. So when you're killing this thing, you're just going to push that towards that black side. Um, so once we talk about whatever we need to and you got those thumbs up going, I want you to lift those little red buttons up. We're going to be pulling for a really long time. So you're just going to flip that little one back towards you. This thing will be ready to go. You guys have these pull cords right down here. Um, when you guys pull these things, you got your little red button up, it's all ready to fire. I'm going to pull this right this thing. I want you to hold on to it and let it back in nice and easy. Alright, because if you let go of them back there, sometimes they'll knock these kill switches off of this choke right down here. Uh, so let those in nice and easy. You got a thumb throttle in your right hand and a brake in your left hand. on its own but if you need to come to a stop keep from going off the road or hitting a hitting a, another snowmobile or a tree go ahead and lock that sucker up if you're rolling to a nice easy stop controlled behind me feel free to pump that thing if you're going down a steep hill um, and you want to break a little bit feel free to pump it uh, just like an old pickup truck but if you're about to slam into something lock that sucker up so brake is left accelerator is right yep okay you're gonna have a uh, these gray switches in your left hand, they're your hand warmers. If you move them to the right, they're on high. To the left, they're off. On these Arctic cats right here, um, it's lows to the left, highs to the right, and the middle is off. It's kind of weird. Um, you have a choke right down here. You're not going to, right next to your pull cord, you're not going to mess with that choke at all. This parking lever, we're not going to mess with those parking levers. To that little yellow reverse button. We're not going to mess with that little yellow reverse <laughs> No going backwards. Yep, we want to be going forward, not backwards. You guys have a reverse button in that right hand, we won't mess with that. Um, so that's kind of operations of these things. While we're rolling down the road, I want you guys shifting your weight. Pretty important. Um, you're always shifting that weight to the inside of your turn. Um, what I mean by shifting your weight, hanging a hip. All that weight, all that center of gravity is right in your hips, guys. If you keep that centered up on the center of the sled and you just try and turn your speed, a lot of times it's going to want to just keep going straight. So I want you to shift your weight to the inside of your turn. So if you're taking a left-hand turn, you're just shifting that weight to the left, hanging those hips off, just kind of scoot your right foot forward or your feet forward into these tunnels, kind of keep you on your horse a little bit. If I'm taking a right-hand turn, that left foot kind of keeping me on my horse. Does that make sense? Uh, machine and uh, yeah I want you to shift that weight to the left always keeping that high side down 